Want to use icons like me and elaborate your experience on EFC 24? Well, check out U7 Buy. It's the only place JD Gaming ever uses to buy his FC coins. U7 Buy also sells other things, not just coins, but gift cards and games at fantastic prices. What are you guys waiting for? This website is your one-stop shop. Type in JD for a cheeky 6% off. Link in the description. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the video. Today we'll look at Ice Neymar. Now the first thing I want to say is, I know he's 5'8", high medium work rates, right footed, 5 star, 5 star combination. This one has got two more pace than the fire version, but is a it's 500k cheaper. Now, personally, I'm going to say, I did prefer fire Neymar more. I felt like Fire Neymar had better finishing, but let me tell you guys something. The way he felt on the ball, this Neymar, I've I've come to a conclusion. This Neymar is more of a more of a winger, and the other Neymar is more of a striker. This Neymar doesn't have a striker option, and even EA are trying to tell you this is the Neymar you want to use on the wing. I always feel like a striker version of a Neymar card should be more expensive because you're using him up forward. You need to get that ball at the back of the net. Listen, it don't matter. Neymar's Neymar. This card is insane. Again, S tier, just like the Fire version. The Fire version, 500k is quite a lot of coins, but you see how swift this guy is on the ball. On the wing, it's this Neymar. In the striker position, it's the Fire Neymar. That is the conclusion I've made. Why am I saying that? Because yes, this name was quicker. He's got better dribbling. The other name has got better shooting. He's got better finishing. That's it. If you were to compare both of them, that is it in a in a nutshell. But they've got some similarities. They're both insane cards. Like I'd have I'd have both of them in the team if I could. Obviously, that's not possible. Having two Neymars in the team would be hundred percent cheating. This guy's just insane, man. Neymar. Look at him. I mean. Yes, the other one's got better finishing, but this guy can get the ball at the back of the net. His ice version, he's cool as a cucumber. And the pace, wow, the pace is real. Like, he's so quick. Like, look at the way he got past the defensive line. No problem. Like, he wasn't struggling. You know, he wasn't uh, fighting them off. He was just gone. He was literally gone. And the way he, the way he dribbles and feels on the ball is special. Neymar is one of them type of cards that is just designed, just perfectly for FIFA. He's bespoke. You know, he's just completely, just designed to be a, a thoroughbred. In my opinion, he's just, he's just meant to be one of the best cards in the game. His body type. Coupled with his dribbling and the way he feels on the ball, he's just elegant. He's elegant. When I see Neymar and I see somebody who can use a Neymar card, I'm instantly worried because you just can't get hold of him. Yes, people say he's weak and all of this rubbish, but can you really get hold of a good Neymar user? You can't. You're just at his mercy. I remember coming up against somebody a few years ago. He was a very good Neymar user. He had a very mediocre team. But because he used Neymar really well, Neymar would just up uplift every other player in the game. Not only is he scoring, he's assisting. Love this card to bits. Really, really do. Cracking time I had using these sort of cards. I mean, when it comes to reviews, it's it's only it's almost up and down. You know, sometimes you're using a player you don't really want to use, but you, you want the people to know how good or bad he is. But honestly, with this card, absolute pleasure it is using Neymar. He's absolutely insane, he really is. Just a magisterial card. S tier, all day, every day. Even on a, even on a Monday. Thank you.